This way it's a little bit. I'm like surprised. <coughs> Alright, you ready? Three, two, one. What's up guys, Carl here, and if you want to turn your lawnmower engine horizontally, like this, for a go-kart or something, you basically have to do two things, and the first thing being, you have to turn the carburetor so that it's facing up, so it can pull fuel from the fuel tank into the engine, and the second thing is you have to open up this part, and weld a piece of metal onto the crankshaft that spins, to keep the engine lubricated whenever it's running, so you don't have to fill it all the way up with oil, and to keep the resistance low to make it go faster. Um, I will also be telling y'all four things that you could check if your engine's not running uh, without any special tools or anything. Uh, I'll show you that. And if you like the video, like and subscribe so you can get notified whenever I finish the video of me making the go-kart frame. All right guys, so whenever you wanna open up your engine, you want to unscrew the bolts, either on this part that holds it or the head. You wanna unscrew the bolts just a little bit and diagonal from each other. So I unscrewed this one, then I'll go to this one. And then after you pop all of them off, you can just, just unscrew them. I gotta move this too. That's a little sneak peek of the uh, go-kart frame. <laughs> so now that these are all unbolted, I'm gonna pop this off. And we will check, oh. Hopefully, yeah, this gasket is good enough. This is a new gasket that we actually just got, so that's still good to use. So I'll keep that over here. We just figured out how 30 inches squared, and we converted that to milliliters, and it's 492, so I poured a little less than 500 milliliters. And now we will be putting back the parts of the engine, and you see that part that we welded right there, which will keep which will allow us to only pour a little bit of oil so the engine doesn't have too much resistance and it can run faster. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we go in here, this piston goes in there like so. Then this gear, <laughs> it like slides in here and then it lines up perfectly with that. And then this gear, it's not a nut, this gear goes in that hole right there. And then if y'all can see, in there that this dot has to line up with this groove in here. And the first time I didn't know that, so we didn't put that in there like that. And now we did, so timing should be fixed. And also the other pistons are back there that the cam gear pushes up and down. Oh, now this thing was also in there, but since we're turning it, we don't need it anymore because this just splashed oil around. I'm pretty sure. All right, just making sure that that is still aligned. Just, just to be sure, we will slide this on. I like to see if I can. All right, this is how you check for spark. All right, do it. What the fuck are you gonna do? It'll spark here. I saw it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I saw it. Oh, you did? it was? Yeah. I didn't see and then you hold it, you can hold it with the spark plug to you, and then like. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Alright, and now we will take off the head of it, header. And it's always good to keep your bolts. And other your small pieces together and where you know you always find them so you don't lose them so that's good it's always a good thing to keep track of yeah i can make sure it's like right. good before Dude, this is gay. after what this knife is gay you're gay <laughs> okay so now that the header's off I, you can, uh, like, I don't have the actual tool to check the, for the compression, but what you can do, if you don't have that tool and you don't really want to buy it, is turn to where the piston is all the way down, and then just feel with your fingers for any scratches or bumps. And I do not feel any scratches, so that is good. And here, 
the bigger one is the intake valve, and the smaller one is the outtake. So now for putting this back, for both of these, how you want to put them back is just like, just screw in all the bolts, just like hand tight. We'll go and tighten them diagonally, just like how you took it off. Okay, so what I hope is not the problem is that these tubes, these and then this, uh, is making the thing not work, but I, I hope that's not the case, but I'm gonna need a longer one of these right now, so I'm gonna unscrew that and then unscrew this. All right, now that I got this tied in, honestly, can go up here. Just push it down, I guess. There we go, okay. Now just to double check, but yep, clears it. Okay. All right, we're good. It's super easy to cut and no sparks because it's not metal. Uh, but let me see if this fits in. Okay, no, it doesn't. But I wonder if we can put a tube because the tube should fit fairly easier on this. Okay, no, maybe not, but we could get it to fit around here so we could put a little bit of tube so that it does. So that it does just stick like right here and then we'll get this tube and cut maybe cut this a little shorter too <laughs> boys are here and we got it. the tube being slipped on now we will attach this to the carburetor and then this tube maybe cut it a little and then attach it to the carburetor and then put some oil in and see if it'll run there you go <laughs> <laughs> a little sneak peek go go kart fan all right now that we have the carburetor facing up and hooked up and the piece welded inside the engine to keep it lubricated, all we need to do is put back together the pieces and make sure it runs. All right, now I'm gonna fill this uh, bad boy up with oil. Through there, we'll have to turn it. We got our paper funnel, because who needs an actual funnel? All right, let's do it. Where should I... All right, there we go. See, who needs an actual funnel? See, save money. Yeah, make sure. Save money. See, no oil leaks either. So, fuck yeah. I mean, hawk yeah. Okay. Yeah. You mean white? Yeah. White? Hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Where's the? Oh. I'm gonna shake it around so to get oil everywhere. Huh? Like. I'm gonna try it with it on, see if it runs, and then take it off and see if it runs. Alright, so we got enough gas, we got the oil in. Put this filter on. Oh. And we got our kill switch, so whenever it runs, it runs. Oh, that actually fits nice. Alright, but we can put on. You hear it? Yeah. It was like, fuck. I smell it. Yeah, I smell it too. Yeah, I can like barely pull it. Oh, I think <laughs> it actually kind of ran a little bit. Oh, is that running? <laughs> I don't know. A little bit? Fuck, okay, I think it's... No, like... <laughs> Did it's over here though. <laughs> I know it's not as bad. Yeah, because there's smoke coming out right there. For real? Yeah. Uh, don't, don't touch that though. Don't touch oh, this. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but. So, why? What is this? Oh, that's just it. it. It's the brake thing. But, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, so this is the electrical thing which starts the spark. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know if this needs to be pulled because that's touching that and whenever you pull it, it like doesn't touch it. Uh, yeah, that's oh, there we go. Okay, let's try it one more time. I'm gonna try to hold it like this. 
Honestly, you might be able to touch with a glove and be like, nah. and it's just a little shock. No, I don't like getting shocked. Okay, move it just this way, just a little bit. I like surprises. <coughs> All right, you ready? Three, two, one. We got it! We got it! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, so we got the, the engine running. The only thing is we need to pull that to start it. And the reason why I was smoking is because this gas that I use is just like a mixture. So, <laughs> like that's the only gas we had. So we'll go uh, fill up one, maybe one of those with the actual gas, pour it in. And then we'll have to get some metal, weld it here so that it can hold the engine. And uh, yeah, it's fucking lit, bro. 